of a beautiful country. All of us, we have a responsibility, a responsibility to ensure we hold this country together. I wish to state na kusema ya kwamba tuko na ma officers wa police who are very professional. 98% we have no issues with them. Maybe just 2%. And we are really being assisted by the commission, the IPOA, other oversight bodies. Again, we have the critical mass within the police to manage the 2%. But we are very professional police service. Kwa hivyo, our kora wako kule inji. Wanafikiri watatisha, watatishia maisha ya wana inji. That will not happen. Mukora ambea anafikiri ya tatembea na kisu huko inje, anandunga mwana inchi na kisu kwa kisu. Mukora hako na bunduki, utaumi, uta, utaumi, uta, um, utafanya mwana inchi mutukufu wa umie, that will not happen. I'm from the college, that's why I've been the commandant. And I'll tell you, our officers are very clear to when they are allowed to use a fire. And it is in law under the police act. Five instances, when any police officer is life is in danger, or any other person, the life is in danger, a police officer is justified to use a fire. When protecting life or property, if there is imminent, imminent danger or threat, a police officer can use a fire. If it is in self-defense or defense of another life because of imminent threat from, you know, to life or serious injury, a police officer can use a fire. Anybody who is charged of having committed a felony, a serious offense, murder, rape, manslaughter, imprisonment, for over three, you know, where the, the law provides imprisonment over three years. That person attempts to escape, a police officer can use a fire. Again, the last one, the fifth one. If a police officer has arrested somebody charged for having committed a felony, then you attempt rescuing that person. You attempt, the law says, a police officer can use a fire. Therefore, the, the officers are aware. And any police officer who uses a or a fire under those circumstances, we are there to protect that officer. Kwa hivyo tunambia wa kora, unauko kule kwa estate, unasumbua wa nainchi kwa kudunga wa visu, Kupika watu risasi, it will not happen under my watch. I will have slept on the job. Wale kule onaiba ngombe. Actually, it is life stock lastering. It is not cattle lastering. A lot of property destroyed. Wanainchi wanakufa, maofisa wanakufa. Our strategy now is to target the loans. We are calling them livestock loans. And we shall engage uh, um, Parliament so that uh, such people they are dealt with for committing a terrorist act, act. The President has pronounced himself on this. Kila Mimi Nasema, all of us, let us enjoy our existence. Yale mali umetafuta kwa bidi tutachunga iyo, iyo mali. Yeyote anajaribu kuingia kumfuko wako, anachukua wallet yako. Uko na rekbis umenunua ya dhaabu, anataka kuhichukua, atapata chamte makuni. That is the message you are sending. As I take charge of the National Police Service, Honorable Chief Justice. Criminals out there, please bear with me because you face it. We are not threatening anybody, but we are stating things 
as they are. Tunataka kusema ukweli. Tuende mashambani tulime kila mtu asu, a, ashugulikia aso yake lakini si mambo ya kusumbua wengine. 